What if I told you that your wallet has feelings too? Sounds crazy, right? But let's get into the details. Welcome back to Shortcut. Today we are playing psychologist to your money, unraveling the twists and turns of Morgan Housel's The Psychology of Money. Forget about balance sheets and income statements. Psychology of money is all about strange things people think about money and how it affects their financial decisions. It's like trying to understand why someone chooses vanilla ice cream over chocolate. It's not always rational. Remember the time you bought that expensive gadget? You didn't really need. Well, that's the psychology of money at work. It's like dating. Sometimes we make choices more for the thrill than the logic. Housel breaks down financial success into simple, actionable steps. Spoiler alert! It's not just about making more money. It's about how we save, invest, and most importantly, how we think about wealth. And here's the fun part. Housel talks about luck and risk, saying they are as much a part of life as night and day. And they have a big role to play in your financial journey. It's like playing a game of poker. You can have the best strategy, but sometimes it all comes down to the cards you are dealt. In Housel's words, the world is filled with people who look modest, but are actually wealthy. And people who look rich, but live at the razor's edge of insolvency. And that's your shortcut through the psychology of money. But before you rush off, what was one financial decision that you made that was more emotional than logical? Let me know in the comments below.